Before assembling my components, they really need an update. These parts do not look good. So even though my wedge is linked in from a separate file and I have two local components, I can still make modifications in the context of my design to how these parts appear. To change the appearance of a model, you can right click in an open space in the model or on any of the components in the browser and open the appearance dialog box. The appearance dialog box will show me that right now we just have a satin steel finish on everything. That is the default finish for my configuration of Fusion 360. What I'll do is take a look into the library. I'll go down to the wood solid category. The wood solid category gives me three dimensional finishes that I can apply. I'll go to the finished folder and take a look at the options. You'll note that some of the options have a down arrow for download material. This material isn't presently on my computer, but if I decide I want to try one, like 3D Walnut, for example, I can click on it, and in a matter of a few seconds, it will be available. I'll zoom in on my wedge and drag that finish onto my wedge. When I do, I can see it looks like an end grain along with the side grains. That looks great. I'll keep it just the way it is. Now I'll add a semi-gloss 3D pine to my other components just by simply dragging on them. Now if I want to change the way one appears, I'll close my appearance tab and go to my side panel, right click, and change with my texture map controls. Texture map controls will give me the same 3D manipulator that I use for changing sizes or pitching faces using the move tool. And I can rotate the finish. I can scale the finish if I want. I can relocate the finish if I want. And I can generally have control to get the effect that I want. In a matter of a few seconds, or with some additional experimentation if you prefer, you can have your model look fantastic.